Okay, so part of your um, performance task is for you to be able to find the mean of the low temperatures for your city. Well, you have a list of temperatures. Now, I have this Kansas City paper, so I have 31 low temperatures. Some of them you might have 30, some of you may have 29, maybe 28. But in this one, this is for December, so there's 31 temperatures. So how am I going to add 31 temperatures? Well, I could go through and add these two and then add that answer. So I could add these two together. Um, 14, okay, so 40, this is 44, and then add 8, and then I could do that and just keep going, you know, this would be 52, and then add 31, and I could use it like that. That would work. Um, I kind of like to do it, I find like this way of chunking, it's a little easier, and this will be a way for me to be able to put my data in order from least to greatest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through, and I'm going to make a little list, and I'm going to break my data up into things that are in the negative 20s, negative 10s, like the negative single digits, positive single digits, positive tens, positive twenties, positive thirties. And then I'm going to take, and I'm going to kind of go through my list and see there's 26, wait, sorry, 26, 18, and then I had an eight, and now 31. And I'm just going to go through this whole, oh, there's a 43. He almost got by, by me. 24, and I'm going to go through and I'm going to take all of these numbers and I'm going to put them in these sets. So I'm going to do that and come back. Now I'm going to go through and count, make sure I have 31 numbers here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. One. Okay, I have all my numbers. So the next thing I'm going to do, like I said, I'm trying to chunk this. Um, I'm just going to add together the numbers in each column. And since I have same signs in all of these, same signs add, I'm going to be able to add these numbers together and not worry about whether, you know, my addition rule, same signs add. So these are all positive. So that is 10, 22. And then it's it going to get a little challenging. I'll show you some a trick that I do. I put the numbers together that are going to make tens. Like I know 18 plus 12 is going to be 30. And then um, I have a 10 here. And then, then I add 18 plus 17. That's 35 because 10, 20, and then 15, that's 35. So now I have 35, 15, that's 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. That's 90. That's how I add my own weird way. Again, I'm going to put things together like there's 50. 25 and 25 is another 50. And then I can add, these are going to be take me a little bit longer to add, but that's 54 plus 29. That's 83. So now I have 50 plus 50 plus 83, so that's 183. These are all 31s. Now that tells me something. I have three 31s. I should go back and see if there's anything else I have three of. And that's going to be 93. And then I have the 43. So then once I have these numbers, I'm another shortcut is now again, I could just add straight across. But I'm going to put all my negatives together because they're like signs. So they're same signs. So this is going to be um, negative 94. Plus a negative six. That's ne actually we're gonna negative one hundred. Well, that's nice and neat. And I'm gonna add these together. That'll take me a little bit longer. So let's see. I have um, one thirty-six plus one eighty-three plus ninety plus twenty-two. So then I'm gonna add down six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Carry my one. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see my notes now, isn't it? I've carried one here. Um, so that, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 8 is 12, 12 plus 9 is 21, 22, 23, carry the 2, 2, 3, 4. So I have 431. So all my positive temperatures are 431. My negative temperatures are um, negative 100. So when I combine them together, different signs subtract this time. So 431 plus negative 100 equals 331. That's the total. Now I have to divide this by 31. 
okay, so how do I divide this by 31? So we're going to study long division um, later, but so you can use long division, but you can also kind of estimate. So 331 divided by 31, I mean, think about this. If I take 31 and multiply it by 10, 10 times 31 is 310. When I subtract 10 31s from 331, I get 21 left over. So 21 is more than half of 31. So I'm going to say this is about 11. If it was less than half, I would just keep it as 10. So I think for most of them, you'll find that you the division is, um, is probably going to be like a small number that you get here. So the mean is about 11, which is positive degrees. So that's my strategy for being able to find the mean of 31 numbers.